Hi, I'm Jerome. And I'm Dawn. And today, we'll be sharing with you the humanization of AI. So AI is often seen as a high-fidelity image generation tool. But given this massive database, we wondered if it could be more than just a simple tool. So to explore this, we picked two areas that we had very little experience in. A UIEX project on encouraging healthy eating in children. And a product-based project in horticulture accessories for the home. So, how could AI enable us to venture into unfamiliar fields? Normally, when you use ChatGPT, we treat it like a question and answer machine. Results are quick, but they are very generic. A better approach for insightful results would be to deliberate content together with AI. We asked ChatGPT for a UX structure for the app, but the output was just too systematic for children. For more satisfactory results, we shared with ChatGPT our concern and gave clarity on a more explorative flow that we wanted. With this, ChatGPT understood our goals and helped us establish the three pillars of content for our app to learn, explore, and play. Similarly, by having this conversational back and forth with AI on a product, we could get ChatGPT to give a very comprehensive market analysis on a product idea. And by having it role play as the head designer is stuck, the analysis was personalized and evaluation was specific to the idea itself. Next, we wanted to see if AI could refine our iteration process through visualization. So let's say you generated a UI design from your mid-journey exploration. UI is easy to explore layout but the art direction is just too mature for children to use. You alter the prompt to get something a little bit more child-friendly, but you end up losing your layout because Sweet Journey just doesn't see to, seem to see your design vision that's inside your head. A good way to prevent this is to nurture the eyes of AI. Through image references, which gives AI important visual cues like widgets and vibrant colors to recognize. Then by remixing the image reference to your previously generated output, you can create refined visuals that retains the composition in your desired style. With this, you can create your own style library. So this style library that you speak of, is it only useful for, let's say, overall styling of an app? Uh, not really. So this concept of a library is not just about gathering images of UI iteration of what the app style could be. Due to the rapid nature of mid-journey generations, you're able to accumulate hundreds of images in your exploration which contain so many different types of assets. By using these small details in the many UI screens generated, you can copy and treat them as image references to generate specific graphical elements. Just add in some additional text prompts to let AI know what you're looking for, which in this case I'm looking for separate icon graphics for these few types of herbs. So with this, you can create different asset libraries including graphics and icons that you can pick and put into different parts of your UI. You can even generate a whole style guide with different sets of graphics and color choices for you to consider. Oh, that's really crazy. But with all these assets and styles, how do you really narrow down in getting really presentable and usable screens for your app? So for further refinement, you can blend images from your style library with self-made visuals on Figma, giving you multiple variations of the app with the same DNA that is fit for different users. So with some added work, we created V, an app for children to discover fruits and vegetables through interactive elements to encourage healthy eating. So if nurturing the eyes of AI doesn't help it to see your vision, another approach is to collaborate with AI. So often when prompting a complicated idea like interconnected modular pod display frame, even using image references, AI would generate very messy and overcomplicated results. So this is slightly due to the way AI interprets the prompt language. The word connected would generate flower pots with cables and wires, and the word modular could generate very plain outcomes. That's very true. But some of these accidental misinterpretations were very interesting and actually quite inspirational. So by deliberating with AI again with ChatGPT, we created a list of words that had similar meanings to connected and modular, which could give rise to more explorative results. And with this, we embraced these accidents, and by discerning through them, they became possible grounds of explorations. We saw potential in form, climbing support, and a tiered display. So for added refinement, we turned to stable diffusion instead. So is stable diffusion the image AI tool that has lots of parameters for you to adjust? Yep, it's exactly that. So let's say you got this outcome from mid-journey. It's almost perfect, but you want to take out the shrub over here and the messy part of the frame over there. So what you can do is simply mask out the area using the in-painting tool brush, which you can control the size and strength of. And when you're satisfied, enter a new prompt and some adjustments, and this is the kind of outcome that you can get. So through some touch-ups, we present Ikora. It's a set of connected accessories with a frame that lets you elevate the ecoscape of the pots at home. So through deliberating, nurturing, and collaborating with AI, we managed to synchronize AI with our design process. And by treating it as your collaborative partner instead of a robotic tool, you too can push AI to think of you beyond its typical limits. So if you have any more questions, you can leave them in the comments below. And we're looking forward to see what you and AI will think of next.
Thank you.